Good morning everyone. It's Friday the 5th of June here at Kirikiri Retirement Village and before we move to level one I wanted to take the opportunity to thank the broader Kirikiri community for the incredible support that the village has received during the COVID-19 lockdown. We have had amazing contributions from people, just to, to name a few, pub grubs sent meals in for staff, putts the florist dropped off their flowers at the start of lockdown, Diane and Graham Colson from Far North Milk Owners kept bringing us free milk and mineral water and fruit juice for the village residents throughout lockdown. Um, we've had all a breeze put together the COVID times for us. Um, Helen and Alan Thompson delivered their excess mandarins and Arthur Barron also delivered caseloads of mandarins and fee joas. Then we had um, the buddy shoppers. So we put out a call for people to help residents who live in the broader village and were vulnerable and couldn't go shopping. We just asked people of the community to come in and shop for one person or one household. And I think we had 36 people all together from all over the community who pulled together to do that for us. Not only that, they actually used their own money and then got reimbursed so that we didn't have money changing hands. Um, and then there was just the support from the community, people who just checked in to see how we were doing and how we were coping. And we coped really well. Everybody was really healthy. The staff were unbelievable. But it was the care and love and support from the broader community that really buoyed us and kept us all going. So as we move to level one and being a full open village again, this is just the chance on behalf of all of the staff, all of the residents and um, on behalf of the board of directors of Kirikiri Retirement Village to say thank you. We're a really special small community that's tight and caring and it's great to be a part of this area. So yeah, thank you to everyone out there.